Hi, so welcome back to Central Question La Luce and Live and Breathe Horses. And today, if Uma doesn't knock the camera over, <laughs> I was just thinking about, um, I'm always thinking about something, but it's just these little things that come up and you think, oh wow, that's really interesting. Hey, so I was doing his feet and you know, just because of the way he stands on the wall and I guess the custom we have to start on the left. So every time I go to pick up the left foot, he kind of puts his weight on that side and then he'll lift up the opposite foot and I always think, no, no, I'm asking for this one, so we have to do this one. And I'll just use my shoulder to nudge him over a little bit and, you know, take the weight off that foot and he'll lift it up or sometimes I tap on his leg, you know, just seeing what makes most sense to him. And then a few days ago, I thought, why not just do the other foot first? offering it. So that's him knocking a bucket over over there. Um, you know, does it really matter? We get this thing, or I get this thing, and I think, you know, you think, oh, well, you want this, so you have to stick with that, or the horse will start taking the piss, or taking over, or think they're in charge. But I think there's lots of situations, that's just a human idea, that it's not the right thing to do. And I think to be more flexible with that and go trying things out, you know, I mean, obviously, if it's something that could potentially be dangerous or if the horse is pushing you around or something like that, then, of course, not change tact. But in this case, especially with a horse like Umo, <laughs> who's about to throw the bucket across the yard, and I was just going to say, is quite highly strung, has a bit of a uh, kind of a history and can get very nervous. So I thought, well, why not give him confidence to go with his idea? So I went to the right side, did the right foot, and then the next day, the same, I went to the left out of habit, and he offered the right, so I thought, okay, fine, let's go around, start with the right, we'll start with that side. So after doing that for two days, today, when I went, he immediately offered me the left. So I thought, you know, this is really important. So just by going with the horse's idea, when his idea is something I want anyway, you know, I'm going to want the right foot as well, and does it really matter if he's offering the right or the left? What do you think, Umo? So anyway, <laughs> that's our thoughts for today. I hope that's helpful, um, and yes, I hope I can think of some, I can't right now, but I hope I think of some other examples of that. Um, well, you know, we had one in that last video when he, oops, Sorry, in his eye, when he broke into trot. Um, and of course, at some point, I will want to ask him to trot. And he just did a few steps and came back. So I'm not going to correct that neither. So yes, I thought this foot one was a good example of that, though, you know, because it is something that comes along. And it's also just an invitation to everybody, you know, be curious, explore. And as long as you pay attention to your horse, you know, your horse will always tell you what's okay and what's not okay. And as long as we um, take the feedback on that, adjust what we do, then we can't really go wrong so much. <laughs> okay, so thank you for listening to us today. I'll see you next time and keep tuning into the light.